So for all of you y'all that don't know, um, I've got three different nursery areas here on the farm. We've probably got about somewhere in the range of 25 to 30,000 plants in stock. Most of those plants are for our install work, but we do do some deliveries and we do some larger order pickups by appointment only. So hoping to get a commercial location here really soon. Actually got some exciting stuff here in the works. So I've made a video on this uh, last greenhouse that we have here in the back and kind of promoted it a little bit. And I would still say that it's a great greenhouse, you know, for a beginner greenhouse, something you're gonna need for six months, something you need a year. What happened to me was I was going into the winter. I actually started off with needing some tropical plant protection and these ended up turning into seedling houses. Well, I can tell you from the first time I ordered these to the second time I ordered these, the quality has definitely seemed to drop. So. This time we definitely went with the better greenhouse. As you can see, I've got that large 30 by 90 over there. That I got from the guys up in Georgia, Atlas. Those are the same guys I got the new greenhouse from. So we got a 20 by 24 going in here. What you see right here now is a 10 by 20. We're gonna be about four foot bigger than this actual footprint. So a little over 400 square foot. Like I said, this is mostly a house for propagation for seedlings so the rain doesn't come down and wash all that water out of the trays. So we're gonna be doing kind of a general cleanup of this whole area. I've got a lot of plants to move. I wanna clean up this large oak tree. Um, I wanna redo some of this windscreen. And what I have noticed is there's a little bit of a dip in beside of this big greenhouse area over here. So once we get the old greenhouse ripped out of the way, once we get all of these pallets taken up and I really like these plastic pallets they work really well for propagation tables I'll get all the pallets up I'm gonna bring in some paver base or some crushed concrete I'm gonna level the area I'm gonna put another another layer of this black weed mat down this black weed mat is a game changer you can see we had a couple of holes over there in that area that I've already patched I'm gonna put a whole new piece of ground cover pretty much over this entire area here in the center after we bring it up with some base kind of like I said drone will clean up the whole area and I'm hoping my kind of my time allowed for this project is three days so I'm hoping within three days this is done because I'm leaving for Costa Rica on Thursday it's Monday so lots of exciting stuff happening here this week finally putting some time into my own property which is very rare you can see the passion fruits are all starting to grow up the side of the greenhouse um, we're gonna have to move all of these out of the way and then generally I'm kind of just clearing this entire area so I want to make some extra space over here so as you can see, here's the old greenhouse. Um, there is literally nothing left of this material. I could probably rip it. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's you know, no plastic left on the top of it. And like I said, the first one I bought from them seemed to last maybe a year, year and a half. The second one I bought from them seemed to last like six to nine months. So I feel like the quality has changed a little bit too. It's another reason why we stepped it up and put a better greenhouse in. So I'm gonna start the rip down process. I need to get to work. Hold tight, you guys ready to see some progress? All right, little uh, midday follow-up for you. I haven't even got into any of these boxes yet. We're just looking at the instructions. My garage is trashed. I have to uh, get that straightened out, but I'll tell you, I opened a whole can of worms. Um, we ended up trimming the tree up. We ended up leveling the whole space. We're putting down another layer of black mat. So we put the leveling base right over the existing black mat. It was really low. There was a bunch of bad spots in it. It was ripped. I'm going right back over that with base and then covering it with black mat again. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Yeah, so kind of cleared the tree out of this area. There was a bunch of holes in the windscreen that was here. I ended up just covering this with black mat too. Um, I've seen it done other places for privacy. Um, I did it for windbreak, so we'll see how it holds up. It was much cheaper than the green windscreen. And we've kind of cut everything back here out of the shade nursery, giving ourselves some space stop that grapevine from coming over over the fence and this is the old windscreen as you can see it had a bunch of burn spots in it so we just went over it off the other side with that black mat and it's really closed off the space i let a little bit more light in here still got a lot of stuff to put back but we still haven't even started on the uh on the greenhouse yet so midday hoping to get the outside set maybe get the hoops up today and tomorrow we can start framing out those end walls and get it covered in plastic so hold tight All right, what's up guys? So you might have seen in one of my newest uh, nursery videos that we finally got the new greenhouse done. I've put up a new 
20 by 22 hoop house and this is more of just a propagation house this is where we can start seeds this is where we can start cuttings um, you know this is in the winter time where we'll actually put the sides on this and build up the heat a little bit in here and get better germination so you know this is about what I need for the scale we're at here in Central Florida um, for my nursery and right now it's not perfectly organized or anything but I have things starting from seed I have things starting from cuttings I have things starting from root divisions and you can see I've just reused the same blocks that I had in my old greenhouse and then I've put them on the plastic pallets and we really like the plastic pallets I picked those up from a local distributor they last for a really long time actually the black ones I have over here are even a little bit better um, they seem to be a little bit more solid a little bit thicker and you can see there's the blue ones in there and wow I mean we have a little bit of iron in our water We're already starting to get some stain on the house it's only been here since late June um, but if you notice the sides aren't on and this isn't my first uh, greenhouse from Atlas greenhouses that's where I got this greenhouse they're right in Georgia um, my first one is actually my 30 by 90 high tunnel this is the um, the NRCS high tunnel we've already made a video on this greenhouse and you know this was one that was given to me through a grant program with the NRCS actually I wouldn't say given it was more of a reimbursement program we've had this one up for a couple years and we really just pushed the edge with some of our tropical species in here so things like mangoes that I shouldn't be growing um, I have some bananas in there that are protected you know that aren't going to get affected by freeze but this is a uh, much larger greenhouse you can see this one has a little bit more mold growing on it because it's been here a little bit longer but this one has the roll up sides on it and that's kind of what I wanted to point out to you guys um, it has the sides that roll up with this large handle right here and this works really well um, for the winter time taking it up and closing it and letting it capture some of that heat um, I even have some big barrels up here in the front of it that I've used those barrels will hold heat during the day and let that heat out during the night you know and that'll also help a little bit to warm this up in the winter time you can see this is quite the jungle in here probably due for an updated video inside the greenhouse I also do have to replace the plastic this year so um, this time of year I have some shade cloth on there just kind of actually trying to cool it off a little bit our, our summertime suns are really really intense so um, you know I'm trying to actually bring the temperature down a little bit just so things don't cook too much in there but yeah here's the new greenhouse it wasn't too too horrible to put in and why I wanted to show you that other greenhouse was I've left the sides open on this one haven't had a chance to put the roll-up sides on I think they call those economy curtains I haven't even put the front door curtain on that one's gonna go on within the next couple of weeks but what I've decided to do rather than put the curtain on I'm gonna put these polycarbonate uh, panels on. I'm gonna show you that here real quick. Actually, it already fell over. I actually don't have them installed yet. And I picked this up at Home Depot or Lowe's and it's a um, really flexible plastic. And what I can do here is I can just put screws in at the top and screws in at the bottom for the winter time. And it's gonna take two panels on each side. Or I could get kind of fancy and put some hinges up here. This way it was actually able to come up, hook open. Honestly, for the month or two we might need it I'll probably just put those on in the winter time take them off on the sun summer this way I'm getting really really good airflow so these benches are a game changer out here we've had this irrigation in our old greenhouses so we you know we just brought it back over to these ones and these are really stand up with the orange from the um, you know the high iron we get here in our water and I just use these maxi jet heads in here also the same ones that I use in a lot of our um, food forest systems and these are the maxi jet 180 half sprays and you know these heads put out like 2.2 gallons an hour they come on in here I believe every three hours for two minutes and that's enough to keep everything wet that we have you know propagating and growing in the greenhouse so I've got some new deep cells for my um, small trees nitrogen fixtures and stuff that we're starting and yeah these work out really well and like I said side panels will be going on here soon front door will be going on here soon it is uh coming up on October you know we have a chance of frost here in November not usual or typical until we get to January but you know that time of year is coming up on it's really fast and my third greenhouse I'm gonna be implementing this year is gonna be right over here behind you guys and this is kind of our tropical zone in the nursery and what I've done here is I've ordered I think nine large hoops that are gonna go from the front to the back and we'll pull plastic over that 
for December, January, February, just to, to help, you know, with that chance of the frost, any chance of freeze, so anything like that. Everything I have over on this side is ultra tropical or, you know, a little bit too tropical for being in a fully exposed area. So, yeah, another greenhouse. So, you know, in the in the summertime, not much use to a greenhouse in Florida. Really, it's just to help from the monsoonal rains, you know, washing out those trays, um, taking all that dirt out of there. So it's really just overhead protection, just kind of like they do in Costa Rica. Um, in the wintertime, it serves a little bit more of an actual greenhouse purpose. All right, guys, so yeah, new greenhouse done. Little over 20 by 20, little over 400 square foot. That big boy over there is probably, you know, a little 2,700 square foot. And I guess I should mention for the irrigation, um, I have that, those micro heads on kind of a standalone timer. And I'm seeing I have another one of those timers right here. We use these all over the farm. And um, this one's probably been here for four or five years. And this runs on a nine volt battery. And this is just a hunter node. Um, you can see it looks like it's dead or sleeping. It's basically sleeping. When I touch it, the time comes up. And that's what I'm running those zones with. And you can see how badly it's gotten stained from the irrigation. Um, we definitely have a uh, high level of iron here in our water. So um, yeah, greenhouses for days. I've got a couple of them going on over here. Just wanted to make you guys this short video this morning. Definitely check Atlas greenhouses out. They're out of Georgia. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. I think I even have a little bit of a discount code for them if you guys decide to get a greenhouse. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Most importantly, pounder. Thank you.